Oh man, what a fucking long day at work. I'm so ready to just play some Evolve, kick back, relax, play the new Rogue Abe update, it's gonna be sick, play the new map variant, I'm gonna get that Elite Rogue Abe, make a new guide video, oh, fuck yeah dude, this is gonna be so sick, I'm so ready for this shit. Mother fuck I guess I'm just gonna have to give 2k support a call. Thank you for calling the 2k automated support system. We are experiencing higher than normal call times. Please hold while we connect you to the next available representative. I love how stupid cats are. <laughs> Thank you for calling 2K support. How can I help you? Yeah, I'm calling because it's saying there is mm -hmm. a problem with my 2K mm -hmm. account. Mm-hmm. Well, certainly sorry to hear about that. Uh, let me go ahead and take a look at that for you. Please hold. Wait, what should I get for dinner? Should I do pizza or Chinese? Oh, well, pizza always gives me the squirts, but eh, I think I'll do Chinese. Plus, I can always eat up the leftovers. Whatever. Oh shit! I still have that one guy on hold. Um. <clears throat> yep, I went ahead and um, took a look. Looks like your account's been banned. Okay, why? Uh, looks like you broke the rules on the EULA. Okay, well, which one? Not too sure, but you definitely broke one. Sorry to hear. Well, what do I do from here? Uh, well, we can't reverse the band, so... Nothing. Well, what the hell? I read through the EULA. There's no rule that I broke. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, sorry to hear, but it definitely, uh, definitely seems like you broke one, so... You know, good luck to you. You know what? This is fucking and, uh, bullshit, for man. I hope you have a wonderful Fuck rest of your company. day. <laughs> oh, these cats. Oh, man. Yeah, fucking, I'm going home early today. So this is a video that I hoped I'd never have to make. And here I am making it. So recently... I have been playing a lot of Evolve Stage 2, which is the free-to-play adaptation for Evolve, which was originally released and ended up being a massive belly flop. And so they decided to turn it into a free-to-play model, which was a good move. It's still technically in beta, there's a lot of things that are still being worked on and improved, and... At first I played it and I wasn't really impressed by the game. Um, I don't know if it was just a lack of understanding or just lack of friends that played it and I got kind of bored playing alone having no one to talk to. Um, but I kept giving it a couple more tries. I wanted to make sure that I was really giving it my all to ensure that it was not just a one-sided like play it once for 10 minutes say it sucks and then you never play it again. Um, I'm glad I did that because I played it again and I actually had a lot of fun. Um, I started meeting some people, quickly became friends, uh, we started playing a lot of games together, I started streaming it, and then eventually I started making videos of it. And I started doing a couple of like guide videos and things of that nature and things were going really well. And um, there was an update on the game recently and the 
update is 2.06 if I'm not mistaken which was the Renegade Abe update which I was really excited for because Abe is one of my favorite trappers actually probably my favorite trapper to play in the game um, and I actually made a gameplay guide for him and it seemed to do okay a couple people left comments stating you know hey this guide really helped me out you know thanks so much for posting this I picked up a couple of tricks and actually had a lot of fun making that video um, I made a rogue Val one and I made an electro griffin one and to be completely honest those videos were some of the most fun that I've had editing and making a video in quite some time um, so I was really excited I felt like maybe I found a new home you know a, a new game that I could turn to that would you know be fun for me no matter what and this game is still in beta you know there's a lot that's still going to be improved upon a lot that's going to be added um so it's like you know this is a great time to to get in from the ground level and start playing this new game learn as much as i can meet as many people as possible and who knows maybe potentially find some form of success with this game in my channel so with the update before I you know digress too much um, with the update I was actually at work and I had my steam set to auto update shouldn't have been a problem got home was super excited I was ready to get my hands on renegade Abe immediately try to get a gameplay guide up you know some kind of tips tricks video whatever and turns out that upon signing in there was a problem with my 2k account apparently and I was just scratching my head thinking to myself, what the hell? I never signed up for a 2K account. I know that was an option to link your 2K account to the game. Um, but I didn't have one, so I never did that. So I'm immediately wondering, well, what the fuck? I never made a 2K account. How could there possibly be a problem with it? So I immediately jumped to the forums, and it turns out I'm not the only person that was having this issue. Um, there were a couple of other topics and quite a few comments on those topics of people that had the same issue immediately after the update hit. Um, I'd been playing for at least a solid month before then, never once had a connection issue ever. And then as soon as this update hit, now I can't play the game at all, in any sense. Um, it's just not an option. Basically, it's sitting in my library, acting as a digital paperweight is pretty much the best way to explain it and come to find out a lot of people are starting to say well this was a ban so if you're having issues connecting to your account it's because your account's banned and I didn't want to believe it because I'm thinking to myself why the fuck was I banned what could I have been banned for so I immediately started posting in these topics letting people know hey I'm getting the same issue too um, you know, reaching out to a couple of the moderators that were on the forums, you know, they were asking for people's Steam IDs, they were going to try to reach out to 2K, eventually somebody was like, just put a ticket in with 2K, try to see if you can get it solved that way, because if TRS has to go through 2K, then there's a middleman, so it's you messaging TRS, messaging 2K, which messages TRS, which then messages the users again. Um, so cut the middleman go right to the I keep punching my mic cut the middleman go right to the source um, So I was like, okay, you know, it's worth a shot made a 2k account submitted a ticket um, It was about Four I mean I heard back immediately the next day, but apparently I hadn't given them all the information necessary So I gave them additional information and it was about three days before I really heard back from them again at which point um, and I'm actually going to pull up the email and read this email verbatim all right i'm not making any of this up this is word for word what the email says hello we understand how you must feel and we're here to offer some clarification after investigation it was determined that your evolve account displayed activity that directly breaches and infringes upon the agreed terms and conditions accepted with the purchase of our game you can review our EULA by visiting link and link. Make this or making this kind of decision is never easy. However, we must inform you that this ruling is final and that a ban appeal is currently not possible. Regards, tech support at 2K support. I'm not going to put the individual's name here. 
Um, but this individual has essentially reached out to pretty much everybody that's posted in the forum topics, and it's literally a copy and paste message. Not even kidding. It is literally a copy and paste message, and they just change the name. They don't even tell you what rule you broke under the EULA. This is what some people may not be familiar with, or terminology they might not be familiar with. This is what you call a blanket ban. Um, and it's, you know, the term is interchangeable for other things as well. You know, they have like blanket punishments and things like that. So, you know, the whole saying like, you win as a team, you lose as a team kind of thing. It kind of runs like that. So, and the best way that I can explain this is, and a lot of people are not going to believe me if I say, I'm not a hacker. Like, there's always going to be the people out that are like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, whatever. Uh-huh, sure, not a hacker, blah, blah, blah. Then why was your account banned? I have been in good standing with VAC for over six years. Now, I know VAC is not the greatest anti-cheat tool. I'm fully aware of that. That is not the greatest tool out there. But I've never had a VAC ban. Ever. And I've never been banned in a game, period. For any kind of cheating or, you know, cheating the system. Not even necessarily like a third-party program cheat, but just, you know, using exploits or anything like that. I've never been banned for any of that shit. And I've been playing computer games for, God, I don't even know how long now. I mean, it's got to have at least have been about 10 years now. And I've never been never been banned in any game ever. And so when I read this email, I was pissed. Like, I was absolutely livid because they state that after investigation... Whoa, what the fuck is with my hand? They state that after investigation, it was determined that your Evolve account displayed activity that directly breaches and infringes upon the agreed terms and conditions. Bullshit. I'm just going to say it now. Bullshit. Okay? The reason that I say that that's bullshit is because, yes, Evolve Stage 2 did have a massive issue with hackers, especially since it went free-to-play, because that gives anybody access to the game. No longer is it a purchased product. You don't have to put money forth towards it. Usually, if you have to pay for a game, you're a little less inclined to cheat on it, because if you get caught, you get banned, you just paid all that money for a game that you can no longer play anymore. So, it kind of makes cheating a little less common, and obviously it definitely happens. Not saying that it's a, the best way to keep games from having cheaters, it definitely it's, it's always going to have cheaters. But when it goes free to play, you're allowing anybody access to the game. Anybody. So that is definitely going to skyrocket the population of hackers, cheaters, exploiters, etc, etc, whatever you want to call them. The issue that seems to be occurring at this point in time is they did this bullshit blanket ban method. In doing so, basically, and this is what the theory is, this has not been confirmed, but this is the most solid theory that everybody is coming across at this point. Because a EULA violation is bullshit, pretty much the only thing on there is hacking. Unless you are illegally copying the files and distributing them for sale, that's pretty much the only other thing that you could possibly get in trouble for. Um, after reading through the EULA, literally, cheating is pretty much the only thing that you could possibly get in trouble for, unless you are intentionally modifying the game files to make the game work in a way that it's not supposed to, or you are legally distributing the files. Obviously, I'm not doing that. The fuck do I have to gain from that? So, the issue now is, the game has a lobby system. It's got a matchmaking system. You don't pick servers. You don't join games free of your own will unless you have a party of four or five people or you do a custom game. If you want to play online with you know other people, if you don't have a group of friends, you have to go through the game's matchmaking system. It's not your choice who you get partied with. It parties people with you based on your skill. So if you are put into a match-made game using the game's matchmaking system and you are not in a party with these people, but one of them is a hacker, you're fucked. You are completely fucked. 
Because if that monster reports you, obviously he's not going to know who's the hacker. All he knows is that he's fucking dead. And there's numerous different kinds of hacks. The most popular one that I seem to see is immediately when you hit the dropship, the game just ends. Like, the monster instantly dies the second the hunters land on the ground and the game's over. Literally within, like, three seconds. That seemed to be the most popular one that I was seeing. So if you were put in this lobby with some dick bag with these fucking hacks on, obviously the monster's just dead. He doesn't know who killed him, so he's just going to report everybody. Because he doesn't know if they're in a group. How is he supposed to know that? He doesn't know which one of them had the hacks. How is he supposed to know? It's not like there's a person typing in chat like, lo 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 I just insta-killed you, lo 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 No. Like, who the fuck's gonna say that? So, what are his options? He's just gonna fucking report everybody from that lobby. So how the fuck is this fair? Is what I want to know, 2K. How the fuck can you blanket ban? So you're telling me that you investigated, okay, investigated into my account and somehow came to the conclusion that I was a hacker. Can't you see in the game's logs for games who the fuck did the most damage to the monster? Can't you see that I'm playing medic and the support seemed to do 47,000 damage to the monster and nobody else did damage to the monster? So why the fuck am I getting banned? Because clearly I'm not the one using the hacks. And can't you see, or isn't there a way to investigate if it was a lobby, like a pre-made lobby? I could understand if I was grouping in with people that had these hacks. I can understand that. Then fine. Guilt by association. Absolutely. Absolutely guilt by association. Yes, because you are playing, willingly playing with a hacker that you know is hacking. Okay? That makes you an accomplice. In real world crimes, that makes you an accomplice to this crime. Obviously, well, it can be argued that hacking is now actually being treated as an actual crime. So yes, I will keep it at crime. But that is a guilt by association or accessory to the crime that was perpetrated. But if I was in a solo queue, match made lobby, why the Fuck! Am I getting banned for it? That makes no sense. This is literally laziness, is what it is. It is laziness, and I don't know if Turtle Rock has anything to do with this. I obviously, I don't know. Okay, I don't know exactly how far their hands are in the pot, but it seems like they don't have a lot of ability to do anything because they're collecting people's Steam IDs and they're reporting them to 2K as far as, hey, this individual's reached out to me, they're saying that their ban was not right, or they're having an issue with their account, etc. So I don't know that TRS really has any control over this, because it's saying that there's a problem with your 2K account, and to contact 2K support. Obviously, TRS is not 2K. 2K is the publisher, TRS is the studio. So, I'm not going to sit here and like try to light a fire under TRS or Turtle Rock, I'm not going to sit here and try to point fingers at them, because as of right now, everything seems to more or less be on the 2K side. I don't know if with the recent update, TRS implemented a new anti-cheat system or anti-cheat algorithm to detect hackers. I'm not 100% sure. There's not a lot of details out there, and that's one of the fucking problems, is there's no details. There's no information. Hundreds of people have their accounts banned, and they have no fucking clue why they're banned. No clue. Because this bullshit fucking email that you get from 2K support just says, Oh, well, you violated the EULA, so fuck you. Your account's permanently banned. There's nothing that we can do about it, and there's nothing you can do about it. Have a great day. That gives me no information at all. If you, quote-unquote, investigated this, you should know what term of the EULA I violated. And I want to know that. I want to know what term I violated, apparently, to get my account permanently fucking banned. Oh, that's right. You guys didn't fucking investigate shit. You did a fucking blanket ban. If there was a game that was reported, everybody in that fucking game is going to get banned. If they had multiple reports, that's a guaranteed ban because they have to be hacking. I'm fucking livid. I'm pissed.
I'm really pissed. Because my channel was actually kind of growing. Because I was able to help people out in this game. And it made me happy because I felt like I was helping people. And people were enjoying these videos. And it was helping me connect with a new audience. And it was fun. Like, I was actually having fun creating videos for this game. And now I'm fucking permanently banned, and for what? For literally nothing. Nothing. I did nothing wrong. If I am guilty, I want to see the proof. I want to see the evidence. I want to see what I did that makes me guilty of breaking or violating these EULAs. And getting my account permanently fucking banned. If this was a mistake, a horrible mistake, an honest mistake, why the fuck are you not doing anything about reversing these bans? In the email, it clearly states, Making this kind of decision is never easy, however, I must inform you that this ruling is final and that the ban appeal is currently not possible. So what the hell happens if somebody is mistakenly reported and banned? Too fucking bad? Like, what the hell? What kind of protection is that? So, if somebody decides to get pissed off because they lost as the monster, and they got fucking utterly wrecked by a team that was just better than they were, and they just decide, I'm gonna fucking report everybody. What's gonna happen? 2K's gonna be like, Well, it looks like this guy got, uh, three reports. Well, we're gonna have to let him go. Like, what the fuck? This is bullshit. And again, I don't know how far TRS's hands are in this. I don't know if they're even responsible at all. I don't know if they built some kind of anti-cheat algorithm that would automatically detect potential hackers. But look at my fucking win rates on my hunters. I think, like, the highest win rate that I had was 71% or 70% on Rogue Val. Fucking really? Like, look at my match history. I know there's got to be a log of match history somewhere. Look at my match history. You'll see, like, my average game length is probably about 10 minutes. Which is what they say your average game length should be, about 10 to 15 minutes. So where the fuck is the evidence that is making me guilty of violating any kind of EULA? This is bullshit. It's a lazy attempt at controlling hackers. It's a fucking lazy, pathetic attempt at controlling hackers, is what it is. Because rather than actually take the time to investigate this, if you have a report banned, we don't care if it was a report just because you played really well and the other person was sore about it. Meh, whatever, banned, fuck you. If you've got three strikes on you, if you've got three reports, <laughs> oh, we're not even going to take a look at it. We're just going to ban you. We don't care. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. And yes, I'm sure there were probably some actual hackers that were banned. That's great. That's wonderful. But at what fucking cost? So you banned a thousand actual hackers, but you banned 5,000 people that did nothing, did absolutely nothing. What is this, some bullshit casualty of war thing? You know, you know we, we got a thousand hackers, but we accidentally banned 10,000 innocent accounts on accident. Well, you know, Johnson, that's, that's the price you gotta pay sometimes, you know? It's, it's for the greater good. There's always an ultimatum. Like, come the fuck on, man. This is fucking bullshit. This is absolute bullshit. And this is lazy. I don't know. Yes, I'm pissed. I'm sore. I'm angry. I'm ranting, I know. But... It's bullshit. If you were to log on and did nothing wrong and all of a sudden your account's banned... Yeah, you'd be pissed. There would be outrage. But what the fuck is 2K doing about it? Nothing. They're copying and pasting the same fucking response 
to everybody. I don't know a single person in the forums that has not received literally the exact same email that I got word for word. The only difference is the name after hello. That's literally the only fucking difference. And it seems to be the same person on the support team. So it's like they have one fucking guy copy and paste this email, paste, 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 send, 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 send. It's like he just hits fucking reply all, control V, send. That's fucking lazy. That's bullshit. And that's just arrogant. No anti-cheat system is going to work perfectly 100% of the fucking time. And how is it my responsibility to prove I'm not hacking? I don't have game logs. I don't have game history. I don't have access to any of that shit. So it's your responsibility to actually look at that because you're the one with server files, server logs, game logs, match history. You guys should have all that. You should have all the tools to fucking actually look to see. But no, it's just easier to fuck it. Just ban everybody. This is how you fucking kill a game. This is how you kill a game's community. By not giving a fuck about anybody. And yes, I know some are going to argue, well, it's a free-to-play game. You know, they're not really making any money off of it. How can you expect them to actually put all sorts of manpower and resources in? Because it's their fucking product. If you don't have the manpower and the resources to support your product, don't fucking release it. Do not release it until you have the resources and manpower in case something fucks up. Because nothing's going to work right 100% of the time. You have to be active in this shit, not reactive. And that's what's going on right now. 2K supports being reactive to it. It's not a, well, if something goes horribly wrong, this will be our business contingency plan. This is what we will need to do. No, they're fucking running around. Their office is probably engulfed in flames. Everybody's on fire. Nobody knows what to do. Uh, 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 here, put this generic response and send it to all of them. That's bullshit. And I'm not going to accept this bullshit email. I'm literally going to send a reply every single day requesting that I see which portion of the EULA I have violated. That's what I want to know. Because everybody is innocent until proven guilty. You can't walk into a courtroom and a judge just can't go, well, I mean, that guy said you did it, so guilty. No, it doesn't work that way. You have to present evidence. You have to show what that person did to justify the decision made. And there's no justification in this anywhere. All they have is two bullshit links saying visit the EULA. Like, it's, it's garbage. It really is. And I'm pissed. And I know a lot of other people are pissed. And that's understandable. Because a lot of these people didn't do anything. Like, they're just... Your average player. Hell, there was one guy in the forums that had like 3,400 hours in the game. 3,400 hours spent on Evolve. And after this last update, they were banned. And they received this same notification that I did that the ban is permanent and it's not reversible. So you're telling me that for 3,400 hours... This guy was a potential hacker or a hacker, and he just now got caught. Something's fucked with your anti-cheat algorithm, or you guys are literally just being fucking lazy. And that's bullshit, because that's how you kill a game. Evolve died the first time, and if this is the kind of support that's going to be given to the game by 2K, it's going to fucking die again. And I don't want to see that. I'm having a lot of fun playing this game. I'm having a lot of fun making videos. I've met a lot of cool people playing it. But all that's gone now. I can't do any of that anymore on this game. Why? Because of this bullshit. So what the fuck am I supposed to do now? Tell me, 2K. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to prove to you 
that I don't hack. Do you want to watch my previous VODs on my Twitch channel? You can watch them there. I fucking lose all the time. Like, I'm not some godlike player. I mean, there's other players that have like 98% win rates, 95% win rates, 90% win rates. They're not banned. And I've seen some of them on stream get stuck in games with hackers. And they get the insta-win bullshit. Or one player just has an asinine amount of damage and they kill the monster before the first dome. So why aren't they banned? What made me so special that I needed to be banned? That's what I want to know. And that's what a lot of people want to know. And right now, your bullshit copy-paste response is not cutting it. I hope you guys are happy with yourselves. Because you guys fucked up. You fucked up big. It's a goddamn shame.